How secret is the secret ballot, really? The, um, in, in the American Democratic tradition, the principle of the secret ballot is not simply the fact that you go into a voting booth and pull a curtain and nobody sees what you do. It is your right to keep your political opinion private to yourself before, during, and after the act of voting, that you can't be lured or coerced into a conversation that is designed to make you reveal your political preferences. In the NLRB, while the vote does take place in a booth that, where nobody sees what you're doing, management is allowed to engage in a series of behaviors in the lead up to the vote that force the vast majority of workers to reveal how they're going to vote long before they ever step into the booth. Uh, it is illegal for a supervisor to ask a worker directly, how are you going to vote? And for that reason, the standard practice of employers and consultants is to coach supervisors to have intensive, what they call eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball conversations with every one of the people they oversee, the most intimidating kind of conversation, and ask them questions that avoid that explicit language, but force them to reveal their, their preferences. They make provocative statements. They record what the worker says. They watch their body language. They go back and they rank them on a scale of one to five of where they stand. And one consultant reports that he would regularly hold a poll among managers for 100 bucks to see who could guess the correct number of votes that the election would be, and they were always astonishingly accurate within a few votes. So under those conditions, under that intimidating condition, if you are a supremely skilled actor or liar, you can keep your opinion unknown. But for most normal people, you end up revealing wh where you stand, and the fact that you then go into a secret ballot at the end of the day doesn't change that. So technically, um, uh, while they're not violating the rules by asking explicit questions, um, if I'm understanding what you're saying correctly, they've grown very sophisticated at other ways in which they're able to um, to get that information from, from workers before they actually step in and vote. That's right. And I think if we saw this happening in any other country, that workers were interrogated in this manner, even though they ended up in a secret booth, we would say the secret ballot existed in name only. Thank you. Um, I had an opportunity.